Do you feel like you're him? A lot of guys out there think they are just because they can pull girls, they have a lot of money, and they have expensive things. Look, this stuff is cool, but there's always gonna be somebody with more money and more expensive things. But as of recently, I found out that to truly be that guy, it really just comes down to three things. Being well-dressed, taking care of yourself, and being a good person to be around. So today, let's go over how to be him and hopefully get your confidence to where it should be. All right, so let's talk about myself. My confidence is at an eight and a half out of 10. Honestly, that's not bad because a few weeks ago, I was feeling like a six. But like I mentioned in previous videos, it's okay for your confidence to fluctuate. Trust me, mine does that a lot. So if you're in a position like I was and you're at a six or maybe even lower, it's okay, it's normal. But you could do a few things to bring that back up. So that way you could truly be that guy. So like I said, being well-dressed is a big part of being that guy. You have to be presentable. Your outfits have to be pleasing to the eye. So let's talk about how to do that. Let's go over some of my favorite things to wear to be that guy. Let's start off with the most simple thing, accessories. Look, I love my watches. I love my chains. I love my rings. Any outfit that I have is gonna have at least a few accessories. I truly think an outfit is not complete without some accessories. So throw on some necklaces, some chains. Like I said, I really like watches. I think having a nice watch on definitely brings up my confidence. So at least try it out if you've never worn watches before. And no, they don't have to be crazy expensive. In my opinion, the best place to start off would be with Timex or with Casio. These are great affordable options, or you can get something like a Seiko. That's the one that I personally love the most. Next thing is gonna be textured clothing. This is something that I'm very big into recently. In fact, that's what I'm wearing right now. I recently just picked this up from Zara. Having texture on your clothes is gonna set you apart from most other guys who are just wearing normal t-shirts, normal polos, anything like that. This is a really good way to switch up your style, but without changing too much. Right now, one of the best stores to get this is gonna be Abercrombie and Fitch. They are very known for their texturized pieces, mostly with polos, button downs, things like that and if you've been watching my videos recently you would know that i love pieces like this so i'm strongly considering doing an abercrombie and fitch haul because like i said they have some of the best pieces for this ongoing trend so let me know if that's something that you want to see next thing you need to start wearing is some pops of color look i'll be the first one to say i am very comfortable in neutral colors it's clean it's comfortable but let's be real sometimes it gets a little boring and having a nice pop of color is a very easy way to stand out from other guys no i'm not saying you have to look like a pack of crayons start off simple with either your shirt or your shoes in my opinion this is the easiest way to go about it whether you have some bold shoes or a bold shirt especially right now that we're going into spring pops of color should definitely be something you're wearing quite often now let's talk about how to take care of yourself so first of all your mental health is very important this is something that i'm really big into this year more than ever but look as much as i want to talk to you about this i feel like i'm not quite there yet to be the person to give you advice when it comes to this stuff so for now i'm just going to tell you what i'm doing so first of all read some books watch a few youtube videos to get your mindset in the right spot I personally have been liking Iman Godzi a lot. It's definitely one of my goals for one day to be that person to talk about this stuff. But for now, just going to recommend you to some other people. Like I said, reading books has changed a lot of different things for me, but you don't have to sit down and read. I get sometimes that's very tedious. So although I do do that sometimes, I definitely recommend checking out some audibles, some books that I'm recommending for now. The Power of Positive Thinking is the one that I'm currently on. I finished Atomic Habits. The Power of Now was also a good book worth reading. These are just a few suggestions. So besides your mental health, let's talk about some other great ways to start taking care of yourself first thing is going to be your physique i feel so much better about myself when i'm leaner when i'm more fit and as of lately i've been doing exactly that i've been dropping weight i've been getting a bit leaner if you follow me on my instagram i've been posting some physique updates and let me tell you i feel a lot better about myself every single week as i get leaner i like when my jawline looks sharper i like how i fit better into clothes and like i mentioned earlier we're going into the warmer season so Spring and summer, I'm gonna be hitting the beach, I'm gonna be taking off my shirt, and I'm gonna feel a lot better if I lose some of that stubborn belly fat. So I exercise every single day, whether it's hitting the gym, going on a run, playing sports, whatever. If you want my gym routine, recently I dropped two workout programs, one for bulking, one for cutting. I dropped it with a good friend of mine who got his bachelor's in kinesiology. So it shares my personal experience, it shares some knowledgeable information from this guy. Trust me, it's a big guy. This is the guy that showed me how to work out. So my current physique, in my opinion, it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. And if you wanna follow me along with my workouts, check the link in the description. The next thing you gotta start doing is skincare. I cannot stress this enough, but skincare is probably one of the most important things that you can start doing. Taking care of your face, having clear skin is gonna make you feel so much better about yourself. I'm saying this from personal experience. When I was 15, 16 years old, I had a face full of acne. I know how that insecurity can draws on you. Literally to this day, I have acne scars from that time. But let me tell you, I don't really worry about those acne scars as much because I did get rid of a lot of my acne from a consistent skincare regimen. I wash my face twice a day, once in the morning, 
once at night. If you're just starting off with skincare, right now focus on having a cleanser and a moisturizer. These two are very essential. All that other stuff helps a ton, but if you're just starting off, I want you to focus only on these two things. And as you start to build those habits, then you can start implementing more things. But for now, have a cleanser, have a moisturizer with an SPF. So that way you're taking care of your face, even with the sun dawning on your face. Trust me, this stuff is way more important than you think. All right, the next thing you gotta start doing to take care of yourself is learning. I know if you're a younger guy, you don't wanna hear this. You're probably tired of school. At least if you're anything like I was in high school, you don't want to read books. Trust me, I get it. But I will tell you this right now, I feel a lot better about myself when I start to expand my knowledge. Part of being that guy is being a well-rounded individual. And in order to do that, you have to expand your knowledge, you have to read. And let me tell you this, it's a very good feeling when people come up to you and ask you for advice because everybody knows that you are really good in this specific topic. As of recently, I've been trying to learn a lot about business, finance, plenty more things, but as of now, I'm focusing really hard on these two things. I'm learning every single day, whether it be from books, podcasts, YouTube is free, so there's plenty of videos out there. Trust me, even if it's not what you wanna hear, this is very important. The next step to actually becoming that guy is getting people to like you. All right, this one is kind of tricky because I'm not telling you to have everybody you've ever met like you. I'll be the first one to say, that's just simply not possible. Not everybody's gonna like you. There's always gonna be someone with something negative to say. Someone's always gonna find something to dislike about you. That's okay. You don't have to try to please everybody. And a big life lesson that I've been learning recently is not everybody is worth trying to please. But look, the people that are close to you, make sure these are ambitious people who strive to learn something every single day. These are the best people that you need to keep in your life. If you surround yourself with a bunch of people like this, you're gonna become just like them. At the end of the day, once you become like this, you're gonna be that person that people should keep close to you to better themselves. I take a lot of pride that my close friends, they're always trying to learn something new. They're trying to expand their knowledge in specific areas. So whenever we go meet up for something like a coffee, a dinner, we have great conversations about things that we've learned. So not only am I sharing the things that I've learned, but I'm learning something new from the things that they've learned. Trust me, this is the best kind of friendship that you could have. But it also goes on the opposite side as well. If you're hanging out with a bunch of guys that just hate on everything, you're gonna become just like them. I know it's hard to cut out some friends, especially if you have fun with them, but I've had to do this because I noticed it was taking a negative effect on my life. Look, bonus points for hygiene. If you wanna be that guy, you also have to smell really good. That's why I'm really big into fragrances. So that's why I take a lot of pride in always smelling good. And if you want some good recommendations that aren't too much, I really like Legend Spirit. I like Product Carbon and I like Coach Blue. These are great fragrances to start off with because you're not gonna be smelling like you're doing too much, especially if you're on the younger side, you don't wanna give any of your classmates a headache. Also, a smile goes such a long way, so make sure you're taking care of your teeth, which means brushing them, glossing them. I know I'm not your dentist, but it's something you need to hear. Also, I like to whiten my teeth with whitening strips. I just find this to be very convenient. It worked really good for me. And like I said, these are just some bonus points. I mentioned earlier that every outfit needs some accessories. If you want to learn more about accessories, I have a video to help you with exactly that. But other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Later.